Hello, everyone. I would like to begin talking about how you need to really explore your sense of honesty and sincerity. It is actually going unexplored because external reality in society um, is somehow giving you acceleration based on being a bit street smart, being a bit smarter than the other guy, being a bit ahead of the other guy, you know? Uh, even though we are in a competitive world, but our humanity does not want to be stuck in competition. In other words, humanity, after some point of acknowledging bigger ideas, bigger visions, will see that your greatest friend is another human being. You have not found the love of the species yet. You have not found the beauty in the human form to suddenly realize how you're connected to every other man. Because when men have come together, great things have happened. And so our uh, many individual aspects of a greater mind communicate to then bring about a new idea, a greater new idea. So we want to say that it is very important you do not consider your reality in regards to, your, in regards to body, but in regards to mind. So what that means is that do not shape too much symbols for yourself or you'll get caught into them. You actually need to really see that there's a hollowness in things, and so it is your choice to see beyond what you're seeing. Now, society shapes you in a way where you feel that survival is essential. And in a sense, physical survival is. But also, after you have maintained your survival, internal experience and its appreciation and learning from is very important. Man is not just learning from his external reality. The minute you realize this, your artwork becomes hidden lessons of realms in which you had presence that inspired even the form which you drew. So you need to realize that man's consciousness is his own area of exploration. And so you must see all reality uh, in your eyes, not in the eyes of anyone else. And the way it becomes the eyes of anyone else's at first is because you do not trust where you are. Because if you trusted where you are, why would you be bothered by any changes? In other words, if you know your home is your home, why would you be, why would you get a feeling as if someone's going to steal something inside your home? No. So your moment of experience and being needs to, in a sense, become a very graceful home. And so we want the bee as it looks at the beautiful hexagonal designs of the, pal the golden palace uh, it has built and has contributed to, you will see that the queen is simply just a greater physical symbol that is symbolizing the individual symbols. However, it is also an acknowledgement that all individuals, once remembering their collective, are no longer caught in thinking that they are... in a sense, banished by temporal reality. And so I want to say this simpler, and I want, I want to say this as elegantly as, when you see that there is greater vision, you will be inspired to look at where your vision comes from. And when that moment comes when you're looking at where your vision comes from, you will see that whatever system of value you had, suddenly, has become hollow because a greater ability of vision and transparency and depth has been, in a sense, achieved and unlocked for yourself. Uh, there's a, there are many knots in your mind. And so reality is actually recognizing that the moment of experience is the facilitator of anything that is shaped. <clears throat> so you studying the moment in which you are alive in will, in a sense, remind you of who you are as you will see that self-awareness is the cure to all problems, uh, it, which are snapshots of certain limited ranges of awareness and energetic expression. Man must see that it has uh, created a concept of trust. And so a concept of trust simply means that you acknowledge man as beautifully as you acknowledge yourself when you were an individual. But now that you are in a collective reality, in a collective sense of consciousness, when you are in that sense of omnipresent emptiness within the clarity of your mind, you will see that <clears throat> the way you're involved with reality is also ingrained in how that reality is being conceived. So conception does not need to, in a sense, feel 
like a limitation when there is a limitless ability to conceive anything. That's how the nature of awareness works. You see, there are many aspects of man to discover its reality, but man has gotten consciousness of himself as an individual now. So man's individuality is significant, is significant because this is what existence has brought, but also his individuality implies his collectivity, and so man cannot look out without really looking in within. And so there are many roles which you will find yourself in. You will see that you are many people to the eyes of many, and in that awareness and in a sense uh, creation and acceptance of reality you have found that society is no longer limiting you because you are defining who you are in society, not society is defining who you are. In other words, all those people who felt that they had lost all that they had suddenly begin realizing that it was them who thought all, they had lost all they had. And so when you look at the nature of reality, consciousness is always aligned in spectacular ways because it gives itself the ability to observe non-linearly. And so when you have trust both in the linear and as you observe the linear so much that you gain trust in the non-linear, you will see that the unseen is not really something to see, but it's simply that the experience of the being that you are here now is fluctuating. So you're giving yourself more allowance by actually crawling from the dark and feeling how the room is designed. And so reality is very friendly to those who see many friends. And so begin acknowledging your moment of existence as a friendly moment and you will see that you are, you are in a sense a beacon that is attracting realities of greater peace and greater harmony. And so words with your awareness to the sensitivity that is observing them will show you how every tree and every branch knew about the same roots. Even the fruit that felt that it was being picked up by different hands. Much blessings and namaste. Let nature be your guide and in all realms of experience, know yourself to be the greatest knowing.